What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Maze. My name is Splattercat, and it's amazing to have you here today. I wasn't trying to do that. It just sort of happened. It just sort of happened. In the moment, my brain was like, I should do this thing. And I was like, brain, just don't follow this train of thought through. Just stop. And my brain was like, nah, I think I'm going to do it anyways. I think I'm going to do it anyways. And I'm like, all right. I can't say there aren't going to be any long-term ramifications, though. Uh, welcome on back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Maze, the game in which we have talking corn, a really, really angry Russian teddy bear, uh, we're reassembling these strange coil things, and we're rebuilding a tractor. Kind of a weird game. Uh, I think that may be what you're getting from this title at this point, is that it's a little bit of an odd man out, but I like it for that. I like it for that. I love playing original games on this channel, and this is definitely one of those ones that's like, all right, I'll give it to you. You're, you're unique. We have a bottle of WT-40, which goes in here. Tractor's somewhat prepped. It will need another item to be fully ready. Well, that's not it. Glue is not it. A framed popcorn ad is definitely not it. So with the broken gear half... Really? I was thinking that that was all we were going to need from here, so actually that puts me at a bit of an impasse. I'm not totally sure what I'm looking for, then. I thought the WD-40 was going to be like it. Uh, does Vladdy have anything to do with this? I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. So we still have craft glue. Once you finally manage to unstick your head from your shoulder, you will find what is useful about this glue. We should probably look around then at other locations and just make sure that there isn't something laying around that we've missed over the course of the game. Like, it's possible that as you play through, it adds new things to different areas that you can use new items on. And that being said, I think we already came through here and I didn't see anything that was activatable inside of this building. Uh, for the people that complain about the motion blur, you can get rid of the motion blur. You gotta go into the I and I to get rid of it. And I forgot to do it before I recorded this batch of episodes. But a lot of people say that the motion blur is super irritating. Apparently it's one of those things that's just like in the engine. And so there's no option for it. I do think they need to add one real fast in the options menu though. So what's going on in here? Was there anything else that like was super useful in this area? We already swept up the corn over on this side with the broom. What stopped us from doing that with our hands, I'm not totally sure. So we've got the popcorn ad. We've got some other stuff too. And this takes me back to the lightning farm. All right, well, let's have a look around. What I'll do is this is one of those games that requires me to every now and again do a little bit of uh, editing and looking around until I figure out exactly what it is that I need. So there was nothing else inside the toolbox. There's this weird corn stalk over here that's just like chilling, doing its own thing. Doesn't look like we can do anything with the needle nose ply, or we can't take the calipers or whatever those are off of him. Okay, that's fine. Let me take a look around for a minute, and I'll come back once i figure figured out what we're supposed to do next. Cool. So around the back side of the guardsman station, I actually was looking around, and there's a back window over here, and you can stand on this stuff at the back window, and I noticed there was something around the back, and I thought maybe it was a grave or something. But no, it's actually, it looks like a horseshoe pit, is what it's looking like to me. And so we've got a, a rusty wheel, which has been added to our folio. I don't think we're going to be taking horseshoes or anything like that, but the more interesting item here is a fuel jug. So hopefully this has fuel inside of it, and this will make everything work the way that we want it to work. Because the WD-40 wasn't enough. I tried pouring it in the gas tank, I tried putting it in the coolant receptacle, and apparently WD-40 was not what it needed in order to function properly. Yeah, I like games like this. I, I don't know if I've ever talked about this on the channel, but one of my favorite games of all time is Quest for Glory. I love Quest for Glory. Like, I've played a few of them, and ad nauseum. You know how when you were a kid, you only had, like, that one game? Well, Quest for Glory 4 was, like, that one game that I had when I was a kid, and I beat it with the wizard, I beat it with the thief, I beat it with the fighter. And I love the fact that it was, like, a point-and-click game, but at the same time, it played different depending on what class you pick. So, technically... There were three different storylines that ended in three different ways with three different sets of challenges. Always love that. So there it is. We prepped the tractor. It's now ready to go. As far as the wheel goes, in a quiet moment, you will take this rusty wheel and roll it along the ground, wondering what its purpose could be. Afterwards, you will forget you have it. I also found a life preserver by the pool. You are the exotic red and white, or you like the exotic red and white pattern of this interesting item, which is why you picked it up. It never occurs to you that you might be able to use it to float on water, so you just wear it like a bracelet. Just a big old bracelet. Yes, of course. Vladdy should drive this stupid thing. Makes most sense. Large chance for pain and suffering. Idiot. What's a boy, stupid idiot? Vladdy do everything. Always Vladdy. 
Hey, how does Vladi start this stupid thing? Like this? Oh, okay. Stupid thing. Hmm, it's not so bad. <laughs> ah! Go, stupid thing, go! Ha <laughs> ha, this is good, ah, this is... Uh-oh. I cheat on your vessel off. Everything under control. Boy, you see through. Stupid thing! Go that way! Go that way! Ah, so that's what it does. Well, that didn't go well. No, not at all. A new path has been smashed open for you. Well, that's my favorite way to open paths, in all honesty. Something that makes a strength check. Forces you to be a little bit girthier. But yeah, Quest for Glory 4, man. Love that game. Still in love with that game. John Rice Davies on the on the voiceovers as the narrator. Like that's one of those that Gimli narrates that entire game. The entire game. You'll get easily 60 or 70 hours out of that game if you don't know what you're doing. And you're like going through it for the first time with all three classes. Like you'll get a ton of time out. Once you know what you're doing, you can breeze through pretty quickly. But I love the way that on separate days, separate things would happen. And the point that I'm getting at here is that I like point and click games. Or exploratory games like this one. Why are there so many, like, patio tables out here? I feel like these patio tables, like, somebody on the dev team was like, Oh, I'm gonna make patio tables, and then they didn't use them for anything else, so they were like, Uh, why not? Let's just throw a bunch of patio tables and tea sets into this whole thing. Bunch of stones on top of a note, or maybe a napkin pile or something? I don't know. So this brought us back to the house. Specifically, I don't remember there being anything that required a gear in the house, but we'll kind of pan through and like make sure we do this bit by bit, piece by piece. So where did Vladdy end up crashing the tractor? It had to have crashed around here somewhere. I know we did everything in the shed because there wasn't really that much interesting there to begin with. It's just like one tiny little room. Oh, he crashed into the side of the building over here. Gotcha. I think he's underneath the tractor. That or he flew through one of the walls. It's that or the other. Here, let's check the basement first. Hello? Vladdy? Where are you, my dear friend? Red Party Ruxpin, where are you? I suppose Reddy Ruxpin would have been funnier. But ah well, we use the tools we've been given in life. I don't think he's upstairs. Because he gets quieter when I'm up here. Yeah, I think he's saying, get this off of me. I don't really have any way to get it off of him, though. Oh, there he is. He's in the bushes. Vladdy thought this place had no purpose, but that was wrong. It does. It is to destroy Vladdy. Everything here was made to make Vladdy suffer, and you are worst of all. killed my uncle! You killed my uncle! I'm right here! Oh, that's right. We're not helping you anymore! You're mean! Because of the whole running a lot of us over business! You could have asked first! And nicely, jerk! Boo! 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 There is absolutely nothing that will make us change our mind! Nothing at all! Nope! Unless you played that song we really like. Oh, yes. At our favorite spot. That could work. But nothing else. Idiot plants. You go. Vladdy fix this stupid thing. You get stupid plants out of the way. Okay. Almost all paths have been closed to you in case it wasn't obvious. <laughs> 
So I guess we've got to play their favorite song at their favorite place. Which has got to be over here somewhere because the boxes are not leaving and getting out of the way. And last I recall is that this was blocked off by the boxes as well. So let's go have a look and see what various tasks we can do on this side to make people love us more. So we've got a boom box. We've got to hold it over our heads. We have a familiar gear half. One small path has been opened to you. And then we also have a very pointed letter which was very pointedly discarded in this general area. It appears to be written by a scientist working in the facility and it addresses the two founders, calling into question their management skills, budgeting acumen, and general intelligence. It's signed at the bottom in orange pen. Only the first name is visible. Helen. What kind of, I mean, she's talking about the business acumen of another person, but what kind of person signs an official memo in orange? Blue or black? Blue or black? Get with the program. Uh, it doesn't look like there's much over here. However, there is a little path off this way. And we haven't been over here. So let's explore new places and things and see what happens. Ah, the boombox goes right here. Thanks to those rad tunes, a new path has been opened to you. Huzzah! Thank you, game, for pushing me in the right direction. Oh, and it's where I got the English Mufan from before. We've come down this path. We've walked this lonely road. Oh, it's going to make me go back down into the bunker, isn't it? That's got to be the only thing that I'm doing right now is going back down into the bunker. Because this doesn't lead anywhere else. That's the only place that it even leads to. I mean, unless the tractor carved a new hole somewhere. Which is also possible. Tractors have been known for their work with corns and various sundries. Actually, no, that hasn't opened back up, so it wants me to go this way now. And it looks like it's opened up a path maybe to a lake or some kind of body of water. I love the musical choices in this game, by the way. It's got like a real, I don't know if it's called Synthwave or what it's called, but it's really got like that 1980s Romero, like late 70s. I, I like it. I like it. It reminds me of old horror movies. Yeah, it looks like it's brought us to a lake of some kind. Oh, I thought that it looked like it was a cave back there or something. I was about to get excited. We're about to go on adventures and find that Vorpal longsword we've always wanted. Dude, you crashed the tractor into the lake, you div. What are you doing? What is problem? Stupid thing did job. Next time, you drive. So what dumb thing is next? Ah. Huh? That's it? All this pain and suffering for Vladdy, and you push the stupid thing into the water? Why you never say anything, idiot? You know, it's a miracle that Vladdy did this. Vladdy had no idea what he was doing. Vladdy not mechanic. Vladdy could barely reach pedals. All for what? <sighs> we should see where that stupid floating thing end up. Probably in place with all the water, because of course it would, because everything hates Vladdy! I feel like he's uh, slowly, I feel like he's slowly giving into despair. Like, this is his great testing moment in the story of Vladdy. You know, this is his, this is his book two, basically. Oh, it brought us back into the bunker. Well, how do I get that, though? Oh, I gotta play with the console thing. This is really gonna hurt, though. There's an, It's holding an engine right now, I think. No, never mind. The claw's right there. I was wrong. So, in order to move the crane, we do W, A, S, and D. And then we can lower crane with left click. 
Uh oh, it's on a track. I didn't see the track. No. Hey, you dick. Stop. Why are you trying to mess with my process like this? So it looks like I can take the two gears and do something with them over here. So we got the gear halves on here. I do have glue, but that doesn't appear to help out with it much. Can I put the popcorn ad over the hole? <laughs> I like our I like our, our Kevin McAllister solution here. Oh, maybe I have to... Ah, there we go. Now he can't use the console anymore. I thought I was trying to stick him to the console so that I could go and catch him. Now he's hosed. But didn't it say it takes two people to operate this? Ah, the devourer! No, 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 I feel like he's a little bit upset. How come... Oh, yeah, you got to go backwards. There we go. I think the, the thing was, like, right here, wasn't it? I guess not. I didn't actually take a good... Didn't actually take a good look at where the propane tank was positioned. Oh, it is actually underneath the light. Okay. I, I mean, I figured it might be, but... Then it looks like I can do something with something over here, too. There's a light on this side. I don't know what it's going to pick up, but I guess we'll try. All right, so that has to go backwards. We'll do the uh, the thing that we have to do first. Oh, it's because of the acetylene tank. we got to take... Okay, I get it now. we got to take this over to here, and then we got to drop it over there. I mean, if we had moderate level swimming skills we could probably have just gone and got it real fast then again we would be wet after we did that and so I don't know maybe we're predisposed to pneumonia or something come on dragging you back yes and there we go all done now we take this and this is gonna fuel the acetylene torch or whatever Take the torch, and we weld that. That's what I figured was going to happen. And now if that's been completed, we have to... Vladdy remembered how to fix the security door. He's hoping you never, ever ask him. Sorry, buddy. What? Uh, Vladdy already fixed, stupid door. Vice pay on Pesnio. Stupid idiot makes Vlad do everything. Crawling through. Ah! Oh! Uh, idiot should be crawling through stupid. Ah! Oh! Stupid virus suffering all this. Oh! Ah! Put some boy! Danya Vesalu, you tap your lupu! Vladdy had enough! You stupid dumb idiot American garbage! You. Of course that work! Because this is the stupidest, dumbest place there is! An idiot just stands there looking even more stupid! <sighs> now what we do, stupid? Vladdy needs a Xanax. That's what he needs really, really badly. Vladdy's ideal world has no vents of any kind whatsoever. So yeah, we gotta cross the T over here. We gotta go to the opposite side, and I don't remember specifically which side was busted. Whether it was to the right or to the left of here, so we may just have to check the old-fashioned way. With two fingers and some hope. I think it was this one, though. We'll check. I could very well be wrong. But I think this is the one over here. And then we got to pop the gear back in, and that'll get the second coil up in the air. Considering we're almost out of folio space, I'm assuming the game is actually pretty short. We're probably coming up near to the end of it now. So, initiating the hook activation is not going to work for now.
But we do need to figure out where the gear goes on this. Oh, there it is. Alright, so we got the repaired gear in the hook mechanism. Great! We did it. Why did we do this? Oh no, what now? Hello. Good to see you. You did a very good job. Yes. Very good. What did you do again? Press the button. Wow, we. Yes, that's very nice. We're supposed to send you a message. That's right. Yes, it's very important. What was it again? Do not free our queen. No, that doesn't sound right. Was it do free our queen? Probably. One or the other. Whatever the message was, that button pressing was very impressive. Oh, yes. Very. Oh, well, right, we should probably go. Yes, that would make sense. So what do we do now? Something productive. Another nap? Yes! That's the most productive thing I can think of. Vladdy do not know what worse. Idiot plants, the stupid ugly idiot plant, or you? No, Vladdy no. It is you. Idiot. You know what I like about the game as well is that all the characters are really emotive. Like you can tell this was a low budget game and you can tell that this was probably done, you know, on a, shoe, on a shoestring amount of time with a shoestring amount of money. But at the same time, like the characters, the animations all are like kind of cartoony in the way that they interact with one another. And so it helps out the slapstick comedy that you get throughout the course of the game. They did a good job with it. This game is called Maze. If you want to play it for yourself, check it out. I've got the description link for you down below. I will see you all in the next episode of Maze where we're on like the 55th item out of 75, so I assume the game only is as long as you have folio spaces. I'll see you all next time. We'll be completing this one, I think.